Have you ever wondered how conservative ideals can blend with a communitarian approach? Picture this, a political ideology that marries the traditional values of conservatism with the collective, community-focused ethos of communitarianism. It's called Red Toryism. This unique fusion of ideologies is not just a theory, but an active force in today's political landscape, shaping policies and discourse. So, buckle up, political enthusiasts, as we embark on an exploration of this fascinating concept. Welcome to a deep dive into the intriguing world of Red Toryism. Let's travel back to the 19th century, to the birthplace of Red Toryism. Picture, if you will, the United Kingdom during the Industrial Revolution. The nation was in a state of rapid transformation, with factories sprouting up and cities expanding at an unprecedented rate. Amidst this whirlwind of change, a new political ideology was quietly taking root, a distinctive brand of conservatism that we now know as Red Toryism. Red Toryism emerged as a reaction against the free market capitalism that was taking hold in the UK. Its proponents were traditional conservatives who valued the stability of the old social order and sought to preserve it. But unlike their fellow conservatives, Red Tories weren't afraid to challenge the status quo when it threatened the common good. They believed in the power of community and the importance of social cohesion, ideals that set them apart from the typical right-wing ideologies of the time. The founding father of Red Toryism is widely regarded as Benjamin Disraeli, the two-time prime minister of the UK. Disraeli's brand of conservatism was a radical departure from the laissez-faire economics favored by his contemporaries. He championed the working class, arguing that the state had a role to play in alleviating poverty and improving living conditions. In essence, Disraeli was advocating for a communitarian approach to conservatism, a philosophy that would come to define Red Toryism. At its core, Red Toryism is a blend of conservative and communitarian principles. It upholds traditional values and institutions while emphasizing the need for social solidarity and communal responsibility. It's a philosophy that values the collective over the individual, seeking to balance the rights of the individual with the needs of the community. But Red Toryism was not just a reaction against industrial capitalism, it was also a response to the rise of liberalism and socialism, ideologies that threatened the established order. Red Tories sought to provide a conservative alternative to these radical movements, offering a vision of society that was both traditional and progressive. So, the seed of Red Toryism was planted, but how did it grow and evolve over time? Fast forward to the 20th century, Red Toryism begins to take a distinctive shape. As the Industrial Revolution swept across Britain, the working class started to demand for a piece of the pie. The Red Tories, with their communitarian ideals, were there to answer the call. The Red Tory movement was redefined in the early 20th century by British political theorist G.K. Chesterton, who championed the cause of the small man against big business and big government. In the mid-20th century, the Red Toryism spread across the pond to Canada, where it found fertile ground in the Progressive Conservative Party. The party's leaders, like Robert Stanfield and Joe Clark, embraced Red Tory principles, advocating for a balance between individual rights and community responsibility. Their policies promoted social justice, while also maintaining a commitment to fiscal responsibility and traditional values. As we move further into the 20th century, Red Toryism started to gain traction among intellectuals and academics. One such figure was British philosopher Philip Blonde, who in the early 21st century reignited the Red Tory flame with his book Red Tory, How Left and Right Have Broken Britain and How We Can Fix It. Blonde's work, which argues for a return to a more communitarian society, has influenced a new generation of Red Tories. Another key figure in the recent evolution of Red Toryism is Canadian Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Though some argue that his policies leaned more towards Blue Toryism, Harper's focus on community, tradition and social order reflects key Red Tory values. His tenure as Prime Minister saw a blending of Red and Blue Tory principles, showing the adaptability of Red Toryism in modern politics. In the face of increasing globalization and societal change, Red Toryism has evolved and adapted. It has moved beyond its roots in British conservatism to influence political ideologies across the world. Despite its evolution, the core principles of Red Toryism, community, tradition, and social order, remain intact, underscoring its resilience and relevance in today's political landscape. Now that we've seen how Red Toryism has evolved, what exactly does it stand for? At its heart, Red Toryism champions a unique blend of ideologies. 
This is a political philosophy that skillfully combines elements of conservatism and communitarianism with a strong emphasis on social justice. Let's dive deeper into the core principles of Red Toryism. First and foremost is communitarianism. This principle places community at the center of political and social life. It asserts that the health of a society is fundamentally linked to the well-being of its communities. In a Red Tory perspective, the community is not just a collection of individuals, instead it is a living organism, a network of relationships, traditions, and shared values. This perspective criticizes the individualistic tendencies of liberal and capitalist societies, advocating instead for a community-oriented approach to societal organization. Secondly, Red Toryism places a significant emphasis on social justice. This principle is about ensuring fair treatment and a fair share of the benefits of society for all its members. It champions policies that alleviate poverty, reduce inequality, and promote social mobility. Red Tories argue that the state has a role to play in achieving these goals through measures such as welfare and progressive taxation. This focus on social justice differentiates Red Toryism from mainstream conservatism, which often emphasizes limited government intervention. Lastly, conservatism forms the bedrock of Red Toryism. But this isn't conservatism as you might typically understand it. Rather, it's a brand of conservatism that values tradition, stability, and continuity. It is cautious about rapid social and political changes, favoring instead an evolutionary approach to reform. This conservatism also emphasizes the importance of moral and social norms and the role they play in maintaining societal cohesion. So, how does Red Toryism differ from other political ideologies? Well, unlike mainstream conservatism, Red Toryism doesn't shy away from advocating for state intervention in the economy. It sees this as necessary to safeguard the welfare of communities and promote social justice. Unlike socialism, however, it does not advocate for the abolition of private property or the complete control of the economy by the state. Instead, it seeks a balance between the interests of the community and the rights of the individual. Unlike liberalism, Red Toryism does not champion unfettered individualism. It values the community as much as the individual, if not more. It critiques the tendency of liberal societies to reduce everything to individual rights and freedoms, arguing that this can lead to social fragmentation and a loss of shared values. Red Toryism, then, presents a compelling alternative to mainstream conservative thought. It offers a vision of society that is rooted in community, committed to social justice, and respectful of tradition. It questions the dominant paradigms of our time, challenging us to think differently about politics, society, and our relationships with each other. It's a political philosophy that invites us to reimagine conservatism in a way that aligns with the realities and demands of the 21st century. In today's political landscape, where does Red Toryism fit in? Let's delve into this question together. Red Toryism, a unique blend of conservative ideals with a communitarian twist, continues to shape political discourse and policymaking globally. This ideology is not just an artifact of history, but an active force that has evolved and adapted to address contemporary issues. In the United Kingdom, for example, Red Toryism has led to a renewed focus on social justice within the Conservative Party, highlighting its ability to bridge the gap between traditional conservatism and progressive social policies. Across the pond in Canada, Red Toryism has been instrumental in shaping a more inclusive conservative agenda. It has influenced the country's approach to healthcare, education, and social welfare, reinforcing the belief that government intervention is necessary to ensure equity and fairness in society. In the United States, Red Toryism is still a relatively new concept, but its principles are slowly gaining traction. There's a growing recognition that the values of community, social justice, and economic stability can coexist within a conservative framework. This is evident in the rise of politicians who champion a compassionate conservatism, a concept that echoes the ideals of Red Toryism. Even in today's polarized world, the appeal of Red Toryism is its ability to bridge ideological divides. It offers a middle ground, blending fiscal responsibility with social justice, tradition with progress, individualism with community. It's a political philosophy that doesn't shy away from contradictions, but embraces them, striving for a balanced approach to governance. Looking at the future, the influence of Red Toryism is likely to grow. As societies grapple with complex challenges, from climate change to economic inequality, 
the need for a political philosophy that can navigate these contradictions becomes even more crucial. Red Toryism, with its emphasis on balance and inclusivity, could be the answer. Whether you align with its principles or not, Red Toryism offers a fresh perspective on conservatism and communitarianism. It prompts us to rethink our political assumptions and to consider a more nuanced approach to policymaking, one that values both tradition and progress, community and individualism. So, what have we learned about Red Toryism? We've traced its roots from its birth, watched it evolve over years, and explored its unique blend of conservative and communitarian ideologies. We've dissected its key principles, highlighting the importance of community and tradition, We've also examined its relevance in today's political landscape, where it continues to shape conversations and influence policy. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of Red Toryism. We hope it has given you a new perspective on the rich tapestry of political ideologies.